Hey guys, what's up? By Zach the Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next video, and this is just going to be a short video that's going to serve two purposes. Uh, first, this is a video that I can refer people to who have questions about how to apply to join One Hive Genesis, One Hive Alpha, what the requirements are, because I get those two questions quite a bit, and it makes it easier just to have a video on the channel that I can refer people to. So that'll serve the first purpose. Also, uh, for people who are watching this video about the time it's being uploaded, so mainly subscribe subscribers or people who just stumble across it within a few days to a week or so. Uh, I'm going to talk about why now specifically is a great time to apply to join if you were like on the fence about applying, why you should go ahead and do so because uh, now is a good time to apply to join. I'll talk about that a little later in the video. But first, I'm going to go through a few requirements. Um, one of them is that we're taking Town Halls 9 uh, Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 players, so no Town Hall 8s at the moment. And uh, people often ask about gemming heroes, what the requirement is for that. And the answer is that, yeah, you're going to have to gem your heroes for almost every war if you're doing hero upgrades because uh, we can't afford to have people sit out an entire week uh, while their heroes are upgrading. And most wars, we can't have people using one hero. So that's just the reality of being in a one hive clan. And pretty much any high level war clan uh, has a similar requirement. I know that makes it so some people can't apply to join, but that's just kind of the reality of the situation at this point in time so I apologize if that's something that makes it so you can't play uh, in the one hive uh, family now that being said I'm going to talk a little bit about kind of my own experience uh, but more more information on the requirements can be found in the description if you check out our official uh, recruitment video that some of our leaders did I'll put the link in the description that'll have a ton of information uh, just about what it's like being in the, the clan family um, some more specific requirements it's a little bit old but I think for the most part it holds true and uh, before you apply to join I would definitely recommend checking that out because uh, it has a bunch more information uh, more than what I was able to say in the last minute or so um, but anyway, as far as my experience goes, I will say one thing. I could say a lot of things, but the one thing I will say about the leadership in Genesis and Alpha is that it's easy to communicate and they're flexible. Now, we do have rules that uh, are, for the most part, we have to follow to keep the clan in order. But if you just talk to one of the leaders and they're always available for direct message or voice chat or something like that. But if you just contact the leaders and talk to them about your situation, whether it's real life conflicting with your ability to play Clash of Clans, which it often is for most people. I know I've had that situation where I just have a lot of stuff going on and it makes it hard to balance Clash of Clans with all the stuff I have going on in real life. And when that happens, you know, they're available to talk to and they, they're able to make changes to help out your situation. I think that they can understand kind of what you're going through and uh, they're willing to kind of make your situation easier while at the same time making sure that you're, you know, being fair to the clan. So that's one thing I love, the communication and the flexibility that some of the leadership or all of the leadership really has. So I will say that. Now, for the second part of this video, uh, moving on from that, I want to talk a little bit about why now specifically is a great time to apply to join. And some of you guys may have noticed, and some people have actually said in the comments too, that uh, One Hive Genesis is a little bit lower on members. And mainly the reason, well, first one of the reasons is that we have a few people in the FPC Canada war, I think. So we have a few people there, which makes our numbers a little bit lower. But the main reason is that we have had a a chunk of people uh, leave the clan for various reasons, I think. But mainly it was a big group that came from uh, the Reddit Legacy clan, I think, when that clan kind of fell apart. We had some people come from there, and I think now they've moved on. I'm not sure if they're starting Reddit Legacy again or what exactly is happening. Some of you guys might even know more than I do, but uh, the point is that they've left Genesis. Uh, nothing too nasty or anything. It's not like uh, we had a big falling out. It really just kind of their decision, you know, what what's fun for them, really, because if they're not having fun in Genesis, there's no reason for them to be here. Uh, they should, you know, be doing what's fun for them because this is just a game. So uh, no hard feelings to them, but because we have a few um, fewer members now because of their departure, uh, there's going to be more opportunities for tryouts to kind of move through the system, and we're definitely looking to fill those spots very soon. So if you're thinking about applying to join, now's a great time to do so, just because uh, you'll have a, the best shot because we have uh, the, the most spots to fill, and I think tryouts will have uh, a quicker 
uh, journey through the tryout process if you have the skills that are needed to be in a one hive genesis one hive alpha type clan so we look forward to seeing your applications if you have any questions let me know in the comments i'll be sure to answer them but anyway hope you guys like the video and i'll see you guys later bye sectatron out